What's up, everybody? Getting into this episode of GH, let me tell you something. That ADA Arden, assistant district attorney, Arden, she's pissing me off at this point. Like, she need to slap upside her little head because <laughs> I'm getting tired of her shit. Um, she was wrong in the Trina case, and she's wrong in this case. Like, it's clear. It's a clear frame up. Like, come on, you're dealing with Anna Devane, a known spy. You know what I'm saying? Who's worked for the WSB for well over 30 years. You think she would be this sloppy to shoot Lucy so out in the open, to have evidence that links to her in her trunk? You think she would be that sloppy and stupid? Come on, that's that's too easy. That's like gift wrapped in her, you know, gift wrapped in her, her herself and, and, you know, just handing herself over on a silver platter to the DA's office. Like, what are you, nuts? That's that's a total gift wrap. Like, are you crazy? Ain't nobody that damn stupid. In the ADA, I feel like, just like the Trina case, I feel like she's looking for a high-profile victory. But yet, you're just going to look stupid when the truth comes out. You're going to look dumb. You know what I mean? And I also feel like this ADA is definitely on Victor's payroll. Ain't no question about it. Because even Victor made note to himself that if she chooses to run for a higher office... He was going to make a sizable donation to her campaign. Of course he will. Everything's going the way Victor envisioned it. Lucy's been shot. She's missing. Nobody knows where she is. They don't have a clue. And he planted so much evidence on Anna. Ain't no way in the world she's going to get out from under these charges unless somebody finds some miracle evidence to prove she's been framed. And that's going to take everybody to do that. Um... Because not only did he plant the evidence in her trunk, he also planted the evidence in her house. And the ADA got a warrant to search the trunk and the house. And the whatever he planted in her house is going to be far worse than whatever he planted in her trunk. He done planted the clothes and the murder weapon or the alleged murder, uh, murder weapon in her trunk. So ain't no telling what else he planted in the house. Like, it is not looking good for Anna. And I'm like, yo, somebody got to do something. Like, the ADA is tripping. And then had the nerve to sit here and demand that Mac arrest her. Mac said, hell no. And I, I was so here for it. Mac was like, I'm not about to be a party to this shit. I'm not about to do that. He said, I'm not arresting nobody. You're going to have to find somebody else to do that bullshit because I'm not doing it. I loved when Mac refused to arrest her. I loved it. And Anna was trying to tell him, like, Mac, just do your job and go ahead and do it. Mac said, no. Because I know that this is a frame-up. Everybody knows this is a frame-up. I'm not about to sit here and lock you up for something I know you did not do. I don't give a damn what this ADA say. So Anna said, all right, fine. You won't do it. Jordan, you do it. So Jordan had no choice. She felt and she read her her rights, placed her under arrest. I mean, I get why Jordan did it. You know, she could have held out and refused like Mac, but I get why she did it. As police commissioner, she felt like, you know, if I don't do it, Mac don't do it. All the ADA going to do is find a little officer to do it. She's going to get somebody in that damn precinct to do it. So she was like, well, might as well be me Um, as much as she didn't want to do it. Because everybody know Anna's being framed. Everybody know this. You know what I mean? And it's a damn good frame up because Victor has done a good job making her look guilty. Um, But they're going to have to find something. You know, even Dante was like, shit, she clearly being framed. Dante not stupid either. He was like, no, nah, this is a frame up. Um. That ADA, she in Victor pocket, and she looking for a high-profile victory. That's all it is, a little heifer. I'd have had enough of her shit. She need to be removed. Um, I can't wait for Laura to come back because this is going to be a doozy. I'm like, wait till Laura come back and find out about all the shit that's been going on since she's been gone. It's going to be some shit. I'm like, she going to have a whole mess to clean up when she get back. Her deputy mayor out here on Victor's payroll. The ADA, she trifling. You know what I'm saying? Your son running around here hiding bodies and getting bitches knocked up it, it, uh, your grandson back in jail it's just a whole bunch of shit going on if i was laura i wouldn't even want to come back to this shit show i'd be like listen just give me a drink because i'm gonna need a drink to deal with all this ain't no way in the world i can sit here and listen to all this foolishness sober ain't no way it's just too much going on here um i would extend my trip if i was her i'm just saying like this is too much um it was good, though, seeing all the vets today. I was like, okay, look at all y'all together. Um, you know, Scott and, and Felicia and Robert and Holly. It, it was so beautiful seeing all of them sitting together. Um, 
Because Holly was confused as to why all of them hated Victor so much. So they had to bring her up to speed on what that little bastard been doing since he been in town. Um, and, you know, Robert was trying to hush them up and stuff about Luke. But they was like, no, because Holly wouldn't leave it alone. She said, no, tell me what the hell going on. So they told her about what Victor did to Luke and stuff like that. So, you know, Holly was livid. Um, and Victor came over with his little phony ass sympathy and stuff about Lucy. Oh, I'm willing to help you find her. And bitch, you the one that got her. Little fake ass. So Holly not had enough. She walked over there and slapped the shit out of Victor. And she was like, that was for Luke. And she said, I got a couple more coming for Lucy and Anna. Because, you know, Dante had brought Robert up to speed about Anna, um, you know, being framed. About her being framed for all this mess and being put under arrest. Um, They need to do something at this point. Because Anna need to get out. She locked up and they won't let her out. They need to let her out immediately. Um, Victor need to go down. Somebody need to get some type of dirt on him. They it, The only way to take a guy like Victor down, you got to get ahead of him. You got to get at least a step or two ahead of him. And it's not easy to do. Getting ahead of Victor is easier said than done. Um, They're going to have to come up with something something on the sly. I don't know why it's taking them all so long. Because I'm like, these some old school ass people. You know, they done been around the block. You know, they done dealt with far worse threats than Victor. So they need to put their collective heads together and get my boo out of jail because she don't belong up in there and put his old wrinkle ass up in there. I'm just saying. Because I'm tired of his little duplicitous ass. He getting away with a little too much. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Carly and Drew. I guess they making their little relationship official. Um, because Carly was like, oh, what's next and stuff like that. Cause Drew is ready to get back home. He ready to get back to poor Charles and whatnot. Carly, she not so ready to go back. Carly, I, I am so much in agreement with you cause I'm not ready for you to come back. I'm just saying, cause the last thing I need is for you to be, you know, back all up in the mix and everybody else's business per usual. Um, but Carly just don't want to go back cause she afraid of what's going to happen when they do, you know, she's afraid of losing Drew. Of making mistakes and messing up the relationship. Drew pretty much told her. Like he expect her to make mistakes. Like he expect her to mess up. But he vowed that. Oh I'm going to be there. I'm going to stand beside you. Yeah okay. We'll see that. We'll see about that Drew. Because when the truth come out. That she lying to your ass too. About Nina and Willow. We going to see how, how, how that loyalty lasts with you. We going to see if you going to stick around. Through you know. Thick and thin. We going we gonna to see. We going to see. When the tough get going, if his ass, you know, if he going to take off, if the going going to get tough, because Laura knows, I, I feel like his ass going to be pew, Speedy Gonzalez, a bleep, a bleep, that's all, folk. <laughs> I want to see his reaction to all this, because it takes a strong type of somebody to deal with a chick like Carly. I'm just saying, you have to... Woosa every day, drink some coffee, take some Red Bull. You you got to do something, a tranquilizer. It takes a lot to deal with a chick like that. It takes a lot because Carly is just drama to the 10th power. We all know that. She extra. So hopefully, you know, he can handle that. Because if not, you just need to step aside because that might be too much woman for him. I'm just saying. she she She's a handful, two handfuls. She's a bit much. Um... But I'm I'm kind of ready to see Carly come back to Port Charles, see what she got to say about anything that's been going on um, with this whole Michael Jocelyn versus Sunny shit. Like, I want to see, you know, she already kind of gave her opinion on it before. But when she hear about the lengths that they went to recently while she was gone, I wonder what her, you know, reaction to it going to be. Um, so speaking of Sunny and them, they, they were there, you know, cheering on Sasha and stuff, you know, being in her corner because Martin has some news from the courthouse. Um, the judge is adamant more now than ever about placing a guardian her now that Brando's dead because the judge felt like, yeah, that's going to be a trigger for her to descend back into addiction. You know, you, you already was dealing with a lot with your child and now your husband gone. That's enough to send anybody into drug addiction or alcohol or whatever your choice is. That's, that's enough to send them back to it. Cause that's, that's a lot of loss. I don't blame Sasha for feeling the way that she feel because I wouldn't want a stranger being in charge of my life or my spending decisions or 
my finances or my business interests, I wouldn't want a stranger being in charge of that stuff. Cause now the guard, the judge say, Oh, I want to put a guardian that's court appointed. Yeah. But you could put any stranger, you know, Sonny and Nina was hoping to do it, but the judge kiboshed that and was like, no, no, we're not, you know, Martin was like, you know, they're not going to use y'all. So Gladys stepped up and Gladys wants to do it. She wants to be, you know, Sasha's guardian. I'm iffy about that because Sasha and Gladys have gotten close and Gladys feels like she, this is the least she could do for Brando's to look after his widow. I respect that. And Gladys, you know, has been stepping up major in major ways for Sasha lately. These last past year, she's been stepping up to the plate. I don't fully trust her when it comes to being in charge of her business interests, like her stock and deception, her money. I don't trust her with that. Because people, you know, when they get that kind of power and you get to oversee that kind of money and assets, they get a little ahead of themselves and, you know, become foolish. And I wouldn't trust Gladys with that. That's too much power for somebody like her. And we all know how Gladys is. Before she had this little change of heart, she was all about this, about a better life. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Hopefully she don't revert back to that and try to swindle Sasha. You know, I would hope not because that girl done been through too much as it is it's like the last thing she need to deal with is you know her grifting ass mother-in-law trying to stick her for her paper uh we ain't got time for that so gladys need to get right and get on her best behavior so anyway that was pretty much the whole episode um hit the comment section let me know what you all thought and i will see you all later hope you all have a great night peace